students and working accountants. Welcome to my Smart Tally Training YouTube channel. Today, before entering to your uh, our, uh, topic, an advice to you. If you want to learn the Smart the Tally Prime, EDS, PCS, GST, everything very well and get the expert knowledge and become expert accountants, please follow all my videos in the same numerical order, that is in the serial order I uploaded, then you will get, if you practice well, you will get a very good knowledge and uh, you will become expert accountant. And every person visiting my channel, please don't forget to subscribe my channel. If you have not already done, only once you can subscribe. And then you share, I mean, uh, click the bell icon and select all so that you will get notification for all the videos which I upload in my channel. And please share my channel, Smart Tally Friend, with all your friends or anybody, any for the others also who want to learn this Tally Friend, TDS, uh, GST, TCS, everything. You just share with them. And while watching these videos, every video you watch till the end, don't skip in the middle because yeah, in the later part, the first in the first part, all the for a topic, all the theory part will be discussed, and in the later part, the practical work in the that is practical work on the tally prime will be discussed and showed. That's why if you skip that, you will lose the you will not understand the practical part on the tally prime. So please visit the channel till the end, and at the end, if the video is good, please like my channel and. At the bottom in the video, after the description, in the comment section, please don't forget, you please post your comment about the about my video. Please comment the comment your idea about my video. Don't forget to comment. Okay, right. Then see this my channel and all the videos in my channel. All these are completely forever. You can see the videos any number of times and you can practice and you can learn very well. But still, in addition to this, I am running, I am taking up the online classes also. No offline, only online classes also. But these online classes are not free. They are free. So if anybody is interested, please send your details to me and register your name. And we are going to start the next batch from 1st of July. So before that, I will inform you and I will give you the link to join. So you please send me your details and details like your name, qualification, place, and what you do. Save these details you send me and I will register your name. And my contact details are given in the about section of my channel. Uh, my phone number and uh, my mobile number and uh, email is given. So you send email also for the details or you send the details by WhatsApp. Don't call me. By WhatsApp only, you send your details. Then I will call you and I will uh, reply you. And before that, batching up where the batch is started, I will inform you and you can join that. Okay, right. Now, now we will enter into our subject, our topic today. Today our topic is, see that our topic is, Payroll management in tally prime. What is meant by payroll? That means only salary processing. Salary processing in the tally prime. How means? See, if there are only few people that are employed in our company, so it is very easy. You can use utilize the Excel format. You can utilize the Excel and you can make the salary statements and you can follow that very easily. But if there are more employees, like hundreds of thousands of people employed in our company, in such a case, it will be very, it will be a problem and take a lot of time to process the salary in the Excel. In such a case, you can process the salaries, the payroll or salary in the tally plane very easily. That's why this uh, tally payroll management or uh, salary processing in tally plane is to be learned. It will be very easy. So how, what, how you will process the salary or how the payroll management is done in the Right. So first of all, what you have to do is we have to create a company. So I already created a company, salary process, payroll processing. So if you see this, 
you see this here. This is, I come, I open the company already. So opening the company that is creating the company is the same. It's no problem. So name of the company, then state and all these things. Phone number, mobile number, email, all these things. And here, yet now, the whenever you create a company, our uh, tally will be showing first April 23. That is 23, 24. That is 23, 24. Yeah. If the, it is a world company, so with world day, it's okay. So like this, you have to create the company. Immediately after creating the company, it will go to the F11 company features. It will show the company is successfully created or your company name. And the F11 that is called as a company features alteration scheme. It will show the screen. In the screen, you have to make some settings. See here. First of all, you have to create the company. After that, in the F11 features, we have to enable the salary, I mean the payroll. We have to enable the payroll in the company features. In the features in F11 company, we have to enable the features for that. So after creating, it will go to the F11 or F11 features or if it is a old company, press F11. It will go to F11 features, company features alteration scheme. In this case, you can take this cost centers because the employees are there. Each employee, you can call them as cost center. You can make this, enable this uh, cost centers that are enable or not enable is not a problem. Okay, I am enabling this and then come to the end. Last one, see the payroll. So payroll, in that case, see maintain payroll. You enable that payroll and enable payroll statutory. That is the payroll, the statutory details. Well, the statutory details because the statutory means provident fund, ESI, I mean, uh, national financial scheme, I mean, uh, professional taxes, all these are there. That are called as professional, I mean, uh, statutory details. So, in this case, for everything, we must have, we must have some registration authorization from the government for that. The PLRI, the payroll, statutory details, this will open. In this case, you will have some details of these numbers. The numbers will be interpreted in some format. So all these things should be filled up as per the records of our company. Just I give some random numbers. And here, company code for this is for the provident fund, company code, company account group code, and company security code. They will give in the registration form, registration certificate, they will give. And then employee state issues, ESA, ESA company code, ESA branch office, it will be something like I give randomly and the standard working days per month for the purpose of ESI. So the standard working days, totally 30 days, four days will be holidays. So 26 or 27 days. So give 20 days days. And the national pension scheme, it is from the government of India. So it is uh, the registration, corporate registration number, branch office number. So all this will be given in their certificate. And after that, income tax. For professional tax, we need not require any registration. For professional tax, we need not require. We have to, the person, we have to give the requisition, I mean, not the, the registration, only just registration. The registration number will be, we can give the registration number, it is not given here. So the registration number is to be given in the salaries when you are making the salary heads. In their, their case, in that case, the deductions you have to show. So in the deductions, you have to show the ESI registration number. It is not given here. And all these things, income tax, say T, T for uh, TDS income tax, for TDS, we require PAN number. Just like PAN number, it is PAN number. So that number is given. So in the case of PAN number, PAN card, five alphabets and uh, four numbers, that is four numerics and again one alphabet. But in the case of PAN number, four alphabets, five numerics and then one alphabet. It will be shown. And the ward number, just like circles and like this, circles and wards in under income tax, there are circular ward. So I gave ward two. And he's asking government or others, other others, that is our employer, our company is government company or other company, others. And giving and the branch office of the detector, this one, Hyderabad, and uh, the person who is authorized to give a Babu and the I mean uh, designation accountant, general accountant will do this. And the PAN number of this person, the person designated, uh, I mean the person responsible to make the directions, that uh, accountant, that number is given here, and with this you have. And then accept this one. So we enabled uh, features in that. We enabled the features in the F11. That is F11 company features. We enabled. That's all. That, that's only one place. And then 
Now you go and see, see here, if it is not enabled, if it is not enabled, if it is not enabled, you see, go to create, only accounting masters, inventory masters, statute details, that's all, no other thing. But when you enable this, when you enable this, when you enable this, here, opposite, opposite, after accepting this lesson, you show to create or go to alter. So in this case, accounting masters, inventory masters, statutory masters, in addition to that, there is another one, payroll masters, payroll master. This is the thing which we use for the payroll management. Okay. Now, in this case, what we have to do is, we have to, first of all, we have to create the, some masters for the payroll. We have to create lot of masters, lot of masters. The first one is create come employee category, it is optional. Category of employee category means it is, for example, in every company, there will be employees. So individual employees. So employee details are created. And all these employees will be working in groups. That is one group working in one department, another group working in another department. That is the group of people work in some different departments. So sales department, purchase department, accounts department, R&D department, like that. There will be a lot of different departments. So the employees will be working under the department. And then the departments will be in one office and the company may have many offices, that is many branches. So all other branches, also there will be departments. In that case, the branches are called as employees category. So that we can create or not. That is, if you have branches, then only we have to create category. If you don't have branches, we need to create category only in our office, in our, in our office, the group departments and the employees. Even if then we don't have department, all the employees are general only, no departments at all. Generally, there are a lot of employees means definitely there will be departments. Okay, there will be departments. So groups only we have to create that uh, branch or office, branch or some office, head of a branch. This head office is there and in Chennai one branch, that is branch, the Chennai branch office, Jada branch office, Bangalore branch office, like that you may have branches. For all the branches, again, we have to maintain separate of records. So in such a case, we have to create category. Now what you do is, I create one, only one category, Hydra, head office, Hydra, right? And then you will create branches, and that is the branches, departments, and then employees. So for that, so I have, your notes, your notes is there, you see, check up here. Accounting, two, two accounting employees, four employees totally, Accounting department, sales department, and personal department. Head of his Hyderabad. So what I do is here we go to alter. You can go and select. Say here. In this case, if you go create, create. If you go, so if you go to and select anything, so directly we'll go to creation page. Or if you go to alter also, it is good. If you go to alter also, if you select a topic, so in that case, it will show that already opened groups that is already open list it will show and then out of that list if you can pick up anything if a new one is required then go up go up and create a new one okay so in the case of create button we can create a new list only that's all but in the case of alteration you can see already existing num existing uh, ledgers we can see as well as if you want to new you can go up and you can create also just i will go to this one, I go to alter page and I will change how. Here, first you have to create head of this, that is the category. So in this case, category is not shown. So in this case, what you have to do is, you have to go to show more, click the show more, then it will show employee category. So click that. So there is no category, this is the primary cost category, is default. So we want to create a new one, Hydra by data office. So here, all the list will be shown. So we require the new one, create, See here, head of his Hyderabad. I am taking this as the category. So all allocate revenue items, yes. Other non-revenue items, no. You can, make, you can make it also, yes, but it's not required. That's all. So only one category. There is no branches, only head of his. That head of his is created. And the, under the head of his, under the head of his, see here, there are three branches, three departments, accounting, sales, personal. We have to create the departments now. Now we go to 
that is department is called group. Go to employee group. So go to employee group. There are no groups. So create. Create here. First category. Which category? Hyderabad. Under Hyderabad. Head of you are getting accounting department. Accounting? Accounting. De Sorry. Accounting department. This will be under primary only. Salary details. Define salary. Salary we will not give here. We will do the salary to individual employees. In the case of stock items, we will not give group or anything. We do the GST number, GST details for the individual stock items. Similarly, here, the salary will be details will be given for individual. Everywhere it will ask, we will say no. Everywhere it is asking, but at the end of that uh, payroll, payroll, when you are giving the details of the salary of the employees, I will be processing the salary for the individual employees, we will give the salary details. So we will select no here. So this is over. Accounts department, sales department, these are the primary, yes and no. And then same head office and personnel. Yes, so NNEL personnel, not NEL. NNEL personnel department, labor department. De depart department, these are the primary address. So here. Now you can see, see here. We created head, see here, category. So category, we created one. That is head office. Then group, we created three. See, we are using uh, group category also. Category is head office and the groups, three groups we created. And now we will create then employees. After that, the employee group, after the employee group, we have to create the employees, individual employees. See, employees, there are one, two, three, four employees. Under two employees and one department, one each in the other departments. So here we have to create the employees also. Again, no create no employees are already created. So it's not showing any list. We have to create now. Now, first of all, you remember that category you have to give. Just a place, stress, space bar. It is ROI, otherwise, the space bar or just click H. H means head of this. Not any. Okay. Head of it. Sorry. Here you press H. So the list will come, head office, and the name of the person is Sanjay Kumar. Sanjay Kumar. Sanjay Kumar, and he is under the department. Which department? He is under accounting department. So press A. So accounting department. Accounting about it. When he joined? 1523. Date of joining? Date of joining? 1523. So 1523. Date of joining. Here also we will not give salary details. So number is not given here. Just we will say yes, Sanjay Kumar, SK. SK 1004, 001. SK 1001. Or simply we can do. Okay, we'll do that only. SK 1001. Okay. Designation. We'll do it as manager. We'll do it as manager. Function. This is accounting now. So accounting. That is accounting manager. Location we will do it as. Hyderabad and then gender M male and then date of birth is given here Sanjay Kumar 2497 2497 so it will take totally and the blood group do something group and uh, father's name Raman something Ramana will give something and then spouse name that spouse means husband or wife name so we'll do XXX then address one two three three, three lines are giving Number is some random some number that is your mobile number. I am giving random number and here Sanjay at the rate gmail.com. You guys, gmail here you the number of the bank account details that is bank details. Here will be there. Number will do some random number number. Their numbers are 11 number. We are giving IFSC code. I am giving SIB, yes, state bank for all the people. So we are because we will pay in one bank through, through one bank. We pay to all the people. So we'll go there. We will open the salary account also there for to transfer to their account. So in the same bank, we will give the number of all the other employees, all the employees. That is the reason. And bank account is State Bank of India. State Bank of India. And branch, just we'll get a scope at Pali. Scope at Pali branch. And then here, type of payment will do it as he wants transfer. Just we will give a check to the bank. The bank people will transfer to their account. So this is one. 
All these details are shown here again. And the company bank, you know, that's not required here. So it is saved. And then tax regime. Tax regime in sense, the tax regime in sense, the slab rates, there are actually previously there was one slab rate. And later they introduced a new slab rate some two years back. New tax regime it is called. That is, in the first case, less number of slabs with higher rates. And in the second case, they increase the slab numbers. They increase the slabs and reduce the rates. But the thing is, in the first case, we get a lot of exemptions and deductions. But in the second case, you they reduce the tax and increase the slab rates. So they, they limited many, I mean, uh, some exemptions and uh, deductions, they cancel. So we will not get the omission, the, I mean, the deductions and uh, some exemptions under the second level, second method. So generally, mostly we will get a regular scheme only. And here, income tax number means pan card number. Pan card number, four alpha, alphabets, and uh, sorry, five alphabets, four numbers, and one alphabet again. In this case, last but one, the fourth should be P only because it indicates a person. He the, all these employees are, they are an individual. Person means individual or sole proprietor in the case of business. In the case of others, P means he is individual. So for all these people, the fourth one, you P. And then other number, it must be four numbers. So if you give less than 12 numbers, it will say less than it is invalid. Okay. It is also 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12. Okay. And give 12 numbers. And the year number is not required. P of number something I will give you. And the, the same number it will take. The same date of joining it will take. The joining of PF, the same date. And RAN is not required. And the ESI number, I will do some number. And the dispensary name. You get Sanatragar. Sanatragar, there is also hospital, ESA hospital, so Sanatragar. Like this, you have to give to all the people. Okay. The second one is Rajendra Sales Department. So again, go up, go up, select H. Select H, Hyderabad, and head of his branch. And Rajendra. Rajendra, he is under sales department. Select yes, sales department. One five only giant. No number is I'll give. RJ1002, I am giving. Designation, this is sales. So, manager, manager, main, main is sales. And location, Hyderabad. And then gender, M. Gender, male. And then date of birth is given here, 1596. 1596. Okay. And then blood group, do some blood group. Father's name, XXX, SSX, something. Address one, two, three. We we'll do the address also. Phone number, some random number, and then email raj at gmail.com and give the bank number, do some give that number and IFSC code. I am giving IF State Bank of India to everyone. Okay. And then uh, bank is against you have right again it is giving, not showing the old number because for each person they may have some different banks. That's why it's not showing the bank here. So, State Bank of India and the branch will be SR Nagar, for example. SR Nagar. And then E1 stands for. So, all the details will come. Save this. And then tax zim. And here, do that. So, all these details are to be given. I'm not giving all this. So, all these will be given. And then third one is Deepak Kumar Accounting. So, again, go back. H, head of this. Deepak Kumar. Deepak. Deepak Kumar. Deepak Kumar is working under Deepak Kumar accounting again. He is also working in accounting. All giant one book only. So we'll get Deepak of DK1003. I am giving real number. Designation for accounting is we'll give it as executive because manager is given already. Function accounting, accounting, location Hyderabad. Hyderabad, gender male, and then date of birth given 2695, 2695, 2695, and blood group, use some group, and father's name, use some name, use some name, and address 123, and number, use some random number, 
and we do it as epoch epoch at gmail.com and then do some number do number number yes b i n zero 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 this one and then bank state state bank of india and branch will be amirpet okay and then here you want transfer and then all the details are shown in there and here there's the baptism give all the other details okay you can do all the other details it's okay and the last one is anjana devi personal department again go up head of this then anjana anjana devi and uh, working under personal department personal department 1523 and you do a b anjana devi 001004 and giving designation personal department so manager personal manager manager and function staffing and then location hyderabad and then gender female and under gender female and date of birth given 2698 2698 and let you some no positive be negative something and the father's name and uh, father's name yes my spouse name yes and you got this one two three new number some new the actual number and give some random number and and anjana netrep gmail dot com and give the number some random number and give i am giving some random number and yes b i n zero zero five six four eight okay and bank state bank of india state bank of india branch will give again uh, b h e l b b h e l branch b h e l sorry b h e l branch and will you give us transfer etc you can transfer Our details are given. Bank to the state bank of India. State bank of India. State bank of India. State bank of India. And I will give you. Okay, I'll give you all other details. Okay, so like this, we have to create the names. What you have to, what you have to do is see, see here. Given. We have to get categories and all these we completed category groups and details. Then when you are working, what is the unit you work? Day, month, hours like that. So days and months will be there by default. Just like profit and loss account and cash account in tally. This also days and month and day will be there. Because for by default we have to create new one hours and minutes because for over time. that will be taken as our that will be counted in hours and minutes that is why now we will go to now we will go and create that one so here now now go again now employees completed unit work of what we need for that we create again now first we create hours hours then we will give full name hours then For hours, you can give decimal points too. That's not required because we are giving minutes also. And then again, MI, MS minutes. Give the full name, minutes. So hours and minutes are created, but you have to compound them because in the in the case of stock items, we create alternate units for two units. But here for two units, we create compound unit. So go up, take compound. How we will create for hours? How many minutes? So for our first one is hours. For how many hours? Sixty second unit is minute for one hour. Sixty minutes because in the case of over work, they may work for one hour forty minutes. One and a half hour means one point five hour we can do, but one hour thirty minutes that is one hour twenty minutes we cannot do. If we do one point two hours, it will be different. Okay, that is why minutes we have to do. For that we have to create this one. Okay, this is the result. So work units are created because days and hours are already there, and then we have to create the. Attendance and productivity. What is the how you will pay? How you will pay? 
that is depending on the how many days they how they worked and how we have to pay if they work fully attendance we have to pay if they that they did not work so it, there will be no pay like that that's why it's called attendance type or production type production is used for over time so create so here first we will get it attendance means you will take present you will be present you will take present and then you will take in this case attendance type for present attendance type is an attendance or leave with pay for how many days he attended we will pay the salary or even if you have eligibility for leave with pay so that is also taken as attendance so it will take it as present you take it as attendance leave with pay so and it will be this okay it's already days are already there and then and then absent you, you can take absent you can take so in the case of absent it will be under primary only we won't give salary for absent so leave without pay leave without pay it is also days and then uh, overtime you will take overtime so in this case we will take it as production you will take it as production how on the basis of production all the basis of units produced for the part time work that is uh, um, overtime we will take that for that we take it as production so in this case production how you will calculate so in this case we created hours and minutes so hours of 60 minutes that we will take because how many hours and how many minutes you work that we take so hours of 60 minutes you take for work time and then uh calendar month is actually to be there not required but we take it calendar month so it is called as user defined calendar type user defined calendar type days only not that yet we never use it so that's all so calendar type we create it okay so these are all masters then we have to create what are the payments to be made to the workers so that is called pay heads what is the amount to be paid to the workers pay heads these pay heads there are two types that is pay heads means we pay something to them we deduct we make some deductions also so as we are making the payments to the workers as well as deducting from the workers salary they are also called all are called pay heads only earning pay heads when you pay to them they earn the money so it is called earning pay heads when you deduct them from the salary it is called deduction pay heads so first of all we will take up uh at, i mean uh, pay, payment that is we are whatever you are paying that is what you call it as uh, we call them as earning pay heads first we will earn today we will earn we will take up the only the earning pay heads deduction will take up tomorrow okay in the next part okay to take three parts uh, now go to the pay heads see here you have paid you must be very careful go to alter and alter If you take, I can go to create also. Pay heads, so create. Nothing is there. You have to create. So how you create is generally pay heads will be the pay heads will be what to say. The pay heads will be generally first of all basic pay will be there. Okay, basic pay. So you have to take basic pay. Basic pay. It is earning to the employee. The money is getting. The employee is getting money. It is called as so all the list is given pay head type. So earning for employee is the head. It is fixed for the month. So how many days you work, you will be fixed for the month. That will be given for the working days. That is how many. What is the depending on their work, we do that. It is fixed. And for the company, it is indirect expenses. All the salaries are indirect expenses. These are all part of salary. So indirect expenses. And then affect net salary. So is there any effect on of this on the net salary? Definitely, it affects the net salary. And then how to show this in the pay slip? Basic pay, that's all. And then, is it used for calculation of gratuity? Yes, it is. Basic pay and dearness allowance. If there is no dearness allowance, only basic pay. So these two are used for calculation of many things. See, never, never in income tax. Under the income tax, you calculate anything on the basis of basic means basic plus DA. So it is yes, be used. And under the income tax, after all the income tax details. How it is taxed? Basic pay is taxed under income tax. Make it yes and come here. The list is there. So here, just click B. Basic na. So basic salary. You take this the unprojected value. Yes. And here, how you do the basic salary? He is. It is different. It is given for the number of days he worked. So it is taken as attendance. Attendance. 
and we have taken attendance at the with pay. We have taken, we have taken it as present. See, on the basis of attendance, the attendance means attendance leave with pay. So present we have taken there. Present we have taken attendance leave with pay. So that will take, it will be months or days. The salary basic will be paid in the monthly basis of months. So take the months and what is the calendar month? Calendar month. So how we will calculate? User defined. User defined means number of days will give simply as per calendar period. That is, it takes 30 days, 31 days, 28 days into account. That's why take the calendar period. And then here, to avoid any paise, we can round off them. So normal rounding, you know already, limit one. Okay. So basic pay. And then next one is, after this, next one is dearness allowance. So dearness allowance. Dearness allowance. So this is also earning for the employee. It is also fixed. It is also indirect expense to the company. But to the company, it is indirect expense. It affects the salary. And how to show in the pay slip, you can make it as dearness elements fully or simply you can make it as D. You can make it as D. We can make it as D and DA. We can make it as DA or fully dearness elements. So DNS allowance also is used for calculation of gratuity. For income tax, it is used. For income tax, you take it as DA means just click D. Dearness allowance. So it is taken projected value. And here, and after that, calculation, how you will calculate? You will calculate this dearness allowance on the basis of on the basis of the basic pay. So here it is called as we calculate a certain percentage. So here. It is as, as computed value. So computed value, then normal rounding, then and limit one. Then you have to compute something. The this side computation method will be there. And here, how you will complete? We calculate some percentage on another behavior. That is why we have to take it as specified formula and a specified formula. So person percentage on a pay head, separate pay head. So here only basic will be taken into account. So basic pay. Here, if you want to add another pay head, basic and DA for others, in such a case, again, you have to take this, click it and add another one. Here, only one. So that is taken. And the first to May, it is uh, the joining itself, first May, all are joined. Okay. Here, this dearness elements will be allowed at some percentage. Here, there will sometimes, there will be limit. So up to certain amount of the basic pay, up to certain amount, so that some percentage, and above that well, amount, some percentage you will take up generally to and total you will take up. So, what is the percentage you calculate? Here you see, here, dearness was 30, 20, 25, 20, 30. So, there are different rates. So, in this case, Here, there are different percentages. So, if we give a particular percentage here, if we give a, if we give a particular percentage here, for all the people, the same percentage will be calculated. That is why what we do is, we give here, we give here zero. We give here zero. We give here zero percent. So, it will not calculate anything. So, at the time of giving the different amounts payable to the employees, that time, we will give this percentage there. That is, it will not take the percentage here. We have to override. So in the case of uh, some previous videos, so to override the values, we have to go to F12 and override the values. Like that, we have to override the value and we have to do the new value. Because zero is, will, be, will be calculated at zero. That will to be overridden and we have to give the new, new percentage at that place. That we will take up there. Okay. So DNS service is over. And after that, the next one is, next one is HRA. For all the people, it is 20%. So we will take up HRA now. HRA. So house, house rent, house rent allowance. So it is also 
yeah, I mean, earnings to the employee, it is also fixed. Direct, indirect expenses, yes, or you can house rent allowance, or you can make it as, you can make it as HRA, HRA, you can make HRA, it is not used for gratuity, but for this one, the real, for the tax, income tax, it is to be taxed, and you can get it as HE calculate, you just click H, see house rent allowance. So it is taken as projected value. And here, this is also to be calculated on the basis of on the basis of DA plus C, I mean basic plus DA. That is why it is to be computed, taken as, as computed value for months and normal rounding limit is one. Here, for you have to calculate on other head, pay heads. So take as we have to calculate, make the calculation. That's why specified formula you take. What are the heads? Two heads you have to take. Uh, basic pay, then add another pay head. This, this in uh, business servants, these two. So these two we have to add. See here, two I am taking. So these two we have to add. One five twenty three. That is that it. And here, house rent allowance also. There will be no. There will be no uh, amount limit. That is limit of the salary. So for the whole salary we will pay. So I will, I will take. Here it is given as 20%. So to all the people, it is 20%. So percentage 20. If you give, see, if you give percentage, if you calculate, you have to take percentage. Sometimes, for example, something will give lump sum amount. So in that case, we have to take value. We have to take value and put the amount. Here, percentage only. Take the percentage, 20%. Yeah, it is so for all the people, 20% will be calculated. 20%. Then after that, 20% how HRA, then conveyance. Conveyance is if it is a fixed amount that's called as a uh, this what you call uh, flat rate. So conveyance, conveyance means transport charges, that is traveling expenses, earnings for employees. This conveyance also is fixed per month, thousand rupees they will give for traveling from the office to from the office, to house, house to office, and office to house. So here is also indirect expenses. So net salary affects, yes, convenience. It is also called PA, traveling allowance. And then it is not used for gratuity, for uh, income tax, it is as used. But here, what is called? It is transport allowance. It is also called, see in the down, you press two, T. See here, transport allowance. If you see conveyance, it, will, it is called as transport allowance is given in income tax. Transport allowance. Projected value and here it is not calculated. A lump sum amount given. It is given as flat rate. That is lump sum. As you like, some one month you give different amounts in different months. Then it is called user different. Oh, user. Then this company will give any amount it likes. But here the conveyance will be fixed every month. Thousand rupees conveyance like that. Okay. So flat rate will take and calculation period is month only and normal. Rounding limit one. Here, no calculation. So, if you, you here, details are not shown. So, we have to give flat rate and here, months. Okay. And here, you are showing, every time I'm showing you here, fixed. Sometimes, some items will be variable that will come. Okay. And then, convenience, then variable pay as user defined. Variable pay. Then, when is variable, variable pay. This is all earning. It is not fixed. Variable pay means so if a person completed his quota, so some gift will be given, some extra amount will be given. Like this, variable amounts will be given. So they are not fixed. They are not fixed and they are not given regularly also. One month he has not reached his goal, his, his quota. So you will not get. That's why it is called as variable. Variable is also indirect expense. So it affects the salary. Variable pay is not used for gratuity. For income tax, it is used, but here for income tax, there is no variable pay. Different amounts will be paid as variable pay. That's why simply other earnings, it is taken as other earnings fully taxable. It's already or by default it is elected. And here, and in this case, it is not fixed amount, we will take up as actual value. Actual value we will take. And here, this amount will be decided and paid by the employee uh, management. That's why it's called as as user defined user has to define the amount what is the amount this month it may be some different next month it may be different that's why it's called as 
user defined. That's all. So there is no running of this game. Okay. And then after that, variable pay. Then over time, over time will be given as uh, at the monthly rate because we have taken months, hours, and minutes. So per hour, they will give some rate. So here it is called as over time. Over time, this is also earning, and this over time is also not fixed, which is also variable because uh, actually over time rate is fixed. Okay, it is fixed also. It is fixed because over time we will pay at the same rate for the whole month. So it is as well. And indirect expenses, yes, over time, gratuity is not used, and for income tax, it is also used. This over time is used. As you can see, over, you show other something like that. So it is taken as it is taken as other earnings. It is taken as other earnings or allowances will be taxable. This is also actual amount you take. And then over time is user defined. Over time is sorry, sorry. User time is taken as for hours and minutes here go, that is taken as production. Over time we have taken there. For over time, we have taken production. Under production, over time it is taken. For attendance, we have taken as present. For over time, we have taken as production by hours and minutes. So for our hours of 60 minutes that we have taken and the normal rounding limit one. So this and then and then. That's what, and then bonus, bonus, medical, they are given, they are all given as user defined only because it is not fixed, it is user defined only. Over time, we completed, over time, that is uh, under, under on production, then you will take bonus. Bonus you will take, bonus, this is all the earning, sorry, for this bonus, it is also earning to the employee, no problem, but the bonus will be something under the act, that is the payment of bonus act is there. That is why. So this is also earning, but a separate rate is given as bonus. So take it as bonus. It is indirect expense only. Yes, yes. And gratuity is not taken. And uh, for income tax, it is taken separately. Bonus is taken automatically. So automatically bonus and the actual value. And it is given here as defined. This is called bonus. It is also as user defined. Because the user will pay. So to one person, one amount will be paid, or sometimes it will not be paid like that. That is what it is. The order will define so much with the amount that is. And then you will take up. That's all. And then medical fees, medical expenses. Then medical expenses. This is also earning to the employee. But this medical expenses will be paid as see when the employee has to spend the money, he has to produce the bills. And then on the basis of the bills, the company will give him back. That is called reimbursement to the person. Ending only, but a separate name for that, you see. Reimbursement to employees. Because he will pay the money. And after that, we will re return that money. That's called reimbursement. Take care. So bonus, separate head is there. For medical expenses or some other telephone expenses, all these, they will be paid by the employee. And it will be reimbursed and returned by the company. So reimbursement. To employee, it is also variable. It is also it is variable, and then it is indirect expense only. And yes, yes, and so for tax also, this is also for medical expenses, other allowances, earnings it will take, and it is also user defined. You have to give the number. Okay, and all that's all. So these are all, these are all, these are all the earnings payable to the persons earnings payable to the persons and here so here user defined when you are giving the pay, what you, you are giving is user defined at the time of giving the details of the salary we have to do that okay before processing the salary we have to do the user defined values okay and all these other things these are all related to statutes these are all related to the deductions these are all related to deductions okay so the directions part you will take up in the next class. So now we complete that. That is see here. We completed. This is pay heads, payments, pay heads. We completed. Then deduction pay heads and other things you have to take up. See here. So here, up to here, all these are earnings. So earnings you completed. Then deductions pay heads. Then attendance. After deductions, we have to show 
what is the attendance as well as what is the salary. We have to say the salary, what is the salary, the employee salary. So what are the different amounts paid to them? That will be defined. And then that amount will be paid depending on the attendance. So if they work for some time, they're absent, that will not be paid. That's why we have to give the attendance and then process the amount payable to them according to the attendance that automatically the salary will be calculated. So with this, we completed till the earnings heads, earning payers we completed. Then in the next class, next video, we go to direction payers. Okay. So I stop this uh, class now. And I uh, hope you follow my instructions. You will get very good at, I mean, knowledge and become expert accountants, I feel. And wish you all the best. And thank you. Good night. Bye.